What's mobbing with it, man? God bless y'all. In Jesus' name, we're going to get straight to it. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 2. May grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Y'all know what time it is, man. We're going to get into it right now. Grace and peace being multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord. To gain knowledge of who God is, we have to truly understand him. We have to understand his attributes. We have to, we have to understand his position as our father um, and even understand, you know, the grace that he has given us. And to understand that is through the living word, through the scriptures, through the Bible. So spending time in the scriptures and truly getting to know who our father is and to know who Christ is and to know what that grace looks like, the grace that we have given. We can only truly understand grace and understand it being multiplied and even the peace. See, the peace comes from when we begin to know God, who our father is and what he's done for us and understanding who we are to him as being his children. <clears throat> so it being multiplied is meaning the more that we get to know our father, the more that we know Christ, the more that we understand grace and peace and through the scriptures and beginning to truly um, reveal who the father is to us and understanding the attributes and even with that grace that we've been given an unmerited love and an unmerited grace that we've been given. The multiplied part is basically meaning that at the end of the day, how these things become multiplied, how we are able to have grace and, and peace be increased, like we, we, we have that increase in our life, is by understanding and knowing, the knowing of what it is. And so how do we get to know someone or something? We have to spend time with them. We have to understand their attributes, understand their character. Um, and in this essence, to truly spend time with the Lord and understand who he is, you know what I'm saying? And what that grace looks like and how we are able to obtain the peace. We have to spend time in his word. We have to spend time in the word and truly understanding and knowing what that grace is and the grace that he has given us to be able to even truly receive the grace properly and understand what it means. And by doing so, we're able to not only have the grace multiplied in understanding, you know, with us getting to know the Father more and, and having appreciation for the grace, but understanding what it means and being able to truly um, give it on to others. So at the end of the day, that's what we're doing right now. Um, um, got this going on as far as like, you know, when it comes to me jumping in my word, I'm like, I have more of an understanding and more of a truly trying to OK, how can I receive this grace and how do I get the knowledge of receiving this grace to be able to give to others and it being multiplied? And also, I want to make sure that I understand and how do I receive peace and how is and how is this peace increased? Um, and we have to understand in the matter of what that means. It, it comes from a not it comes from the knowledge and the knowing of what these things are and the understanding of what they are. And we can only truly understand who God is. And, and in the manner he reveals himself in that in that manner that he does that is by us spending time with him in his word. And he's constantly revealing himself to us. And that grace is constantly being revealed. And so is the peace. See, we are able to receive the peace and it be increased by growing closer and more intimate to the father and understanding what it means and what Christ has done for us to be able to receive that. And, and we truly th and we are truly grateful, you know, what I'm saying and I am as well and jumping in the word and knowing that every time I jump in the word, I'm growing closer to my father. I'm growing closer and, and God is constantly revealing himself to us through his word. And that is a blessing and understanding what that peace is. And we're and we're able to receive and be more at peace, the closer and more intimate that we grow in the father. So that knowledge, we can only gain knowledge if we begin to study, examine, spend time, build relationships. That knowledge comes from knowing something. And how do you know someone or understand what it is, is you have to truly become a student, study, learn, spend time, build relationship, all of that. And that comes from the knowledge of God and Christ. And how does that come? That comes through the living word that comes through the scriptures.
And so being able to understand the grace that he has given us and that we have received and being able to truly understand what the peace is and the peace that we get that we gain from being his children and understanding that his faithfulness and who he is in our life as being our savior is where that peace comes from. But he's constantly revealing himself to us through his word. Hallelujah, man. Y'all be blessed in Jesus name. Pray this touch somebody today, man. As it touched me, man, I want to spend more time getting to know the father. I want to spend more time. Jesus is constantly revealing himself to us through the scriptures, through the living word. Let us be mindful of that. Let us understand what it means to when the grace and the peace is multiplied through the knowledge of God and Jesus, our Lord. Hallelujah, man. Spend time in that living word, man. Allow the father to continue to reveal himself to you. Understand what the grace that you have received and what it means and give it on to others and understand where that true peace comes from. That peace comes from an assurance and knowing that the faithfulness of God will never alter. It will always be the same. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, and y'all be blessed.